Scenes of chaos and excitement. These crowds are gathered to see Ayatollah Bakir al-Hakim, a Shiite cleric who advocates an Iraq free of American supervision. His supporters mobbed his motorcade as it neared a mosque in the city. Al-Hakim has returned to Iraq to play a role in his country's future after living in exile in Iran for more than 20 years. As well as heading the Supreme Council of the Islamic Revolution in Iraq, Al-Hakim also commands a brigade of some 9,000 fighters. Together, the Council and Brigade oppose the American presence in Iraq, but have not confronted U.S. troops. Al-Hakim told the assembled crowd that Iraq would not submit to any despotic power, nor to any foreign or international domination. He also spoke about the Security Council resolution, which lifts 13 years of UN-imposed sanctions. He said the resolution was an admission from the U.S. and Britain that they were occupying Iraq, even if it was only on a temporary basis. It's Al-Hakim's first visit to Kabul since returning from 23 years of exile in Iran. His home base is Najaf, which Iraqi Shiites regard as their holiest city.